everybody, it's Chugga Conroy, and welcome to Pokemon Black version and Pokemon White version. My name is Professor Juniper. Everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. And speaking of breaking series conventions, finally a babe that knows Pokemon! Am I right? <laughs> yes! She's so awesome. Uh, you'll see in due time, though, but I like her for reasons other than just her character design. She is so cool. But, uh, yeah, we are going to be playing as the boy, of course. I'd like to know your name. Please tell me. Well, my name is Emil, but for more story-driven experiences, I usually like to go with the official names. Unfortunately, this boy's official name is Hilbert. Hilbert. I deeply apologize to anybody who has the name Hilbert, but I'm not naming him that. Because if I did, this entire adventure would be, Hey everybody, I'm Hilbert! I'm here to make a name for myself of the name that is Hilbert! I'm gonna save this world and become the hero of this land! Cause that's me, Hilbert! Hilbert the Hero! I'd rather not subject you to that for the next 40 hours though, so instead, luckily for me... So where are the Pokémon? They were delivered to Blair's house, so Blair gets first pick. Naturally. The Pokemon are waiting for us inside that gift box. Okay, Blair, you go first and take a peek at the gift box. I want to meet the Pokemon right now. Yes, sir. Don't let me take two extra seconds to step forward, and don't let me take two extra seconds to put my hand on this box, and don't let me take two more extra seconds to press the A button again. No siree, Bob. Don't let me do that. <sighs> He's a fire type. He's tepig. Let's get the big bad out of the way first. Tepig will eventually evolve into yet another fire fighting type. Listen, I respect the first responder firefighters as much as the next guy, but three times in a row? You think that's enough times, guys? Ugh, just, I'm sorry, I've never gotten over this and I know a lot of other people haven't either. I mean, just look at it. It looks like it should be a fire dark type and that would be so much cooler, but I guess we're still a few generations away from that happening, so. And last to be gone over, probably last to get picked in PE as well, Oshawott! With, but there is one in particular that resonates with me a little bit more than the others. I was always last to get picked in gym as well, so come here, you little freckled guy, we're gonna face the world together! Blair chose Oshawott. We have to let them battle so they'll get stronger. It's settled, Blair. Get ready for a Pokemon battle. Just so long as my Wii Remotes don't get knocked through my TV, I think I'll be just fine. All right. Look at me getting criticals. Pokemon on both sides did their best. Ouch. Sick burn on your new Tepic, Bianca. Whoa, wouldn't want to be your Pokemon. Okay, Wii Remotes are fine. TV's fine. I'm good. Oh, uh, sorry, er, sorry about your room, Blair. You are completely hopeless. Here, I'll restore your Pokemon for you. He wants her, I can tell. Blair's Pokemon needs to be fixed up too. Uh, but not as much, thank you very much, you know? Uh, I kind of rocked that a little bit. I kind of swept it. And hey, maybe it's good practice for all the sweeping up I'm going to need to do now. Hey, I made a strange blunder in my first battle. Yeah, it's called using Leer on the last turn when you might have had me. <laughs> I'm finally a trainer. But first, we better apologize to your mother about this messed up room. Oh, I, I'd better come to- uh, guys, that's not really necessary. We don't need to tell her anything. I, I'm kind of on the road for a little bit. Um, okay. Uh, yes, thank you. Please excuse us. Come on, let's go thank Professor Juniper. I'll be waiting in front of the Pokemon Research Lab. Oh wait, I've gotta go home first. Thanks for having us over. Thanks guys for ditching me in my time of need. Uh, hi mom. Uh, no need to look over my shoulder. My, my, Blair. Uh, just- Okay, she's just saying the same thing again. Just casually stroll out very slowly, look normal, she will never suspect a thing. And you're finally starting your journeys as trainers. Well, let me read you a passage from a book called Adventure Rules. Ah, my favorite book is Adventure Rocks. The X button is vitally important for trainers. A literary classic etched in the annals of time. Oh. That chair, and I'm sure he's at the laboratory. He's so Hello, I am Dr. Owl Machine. Echoed voice is a very rugged move whose power grows when you use it in successive turns. I bet you can think of ways to use this move in everyday life without my help. 
You know how sometimes you have to tell your kids the same thing over and over before they listen? In this situation, parents, teachers, and friends can all use this move and it will be very effective. I see. I learned a lot. Well then, everyone, until next time, goodbye. Ha! Joke's on you! It will never be very effective because it's normal type, and that's how the type chart works, huh? And they put these people on TV these days, I swear. Anyway, we're not going to talk to anyone else. We're just going to go to the lab. The Pokedex is a high-tech device that automatically records the Pokemon you encounter. So I want you three to visit many places and meet all of the Pokemon in the Unova region. This is my request. Blair, Charon, Bianca, you'll go on an adventure to complete the Pokedex, will you not? No! Here is what I need from you. Mom, uh, hey Blair, wait up! Don't announce my presence, don't announce my presence. Thought I could skip town before she would go upstairs and notice. What did the professor have to say? Well, after our first encounter, I think we're going to end things off here. Seeing a presentation from a group calling themselves Team Plasma and meeting, shall we say, a rather interesting fellow that we had a battle with afterward. I want to kind of go around to the towns and show what this place is all about. You there, you better not have called dibs already. Beautiful scenery and relaxing sounds. Oh man, I sure do love this place. Sure makes me feel happy. Okay, good, he's into all that sentimental crap. Good, I can go get those items and you didn't call dibs on them already. I see what is important in life. So starting off in this first house, that's everyone that I wanted to talk to though. So I guess now, uh, see you, Cumula Town. Odds are you're the forgotten second town that there's not much reason to ever revisit, so... Bye. It was fun while it lasted. You had great music. Speaking of great music, however... Oh, the extra receiver is ringing and interrupting us! Okay. We need to talk for a moment. I know that I should probably go to jail for this, but... Dude! My mom is hot! Like... <laughs> Okay, that was my immediate thought when I saw this call for the first time and saw what she looked like up close, and that opinion has not changed over time. And, okay, in my defense, like, I'm not really somebody who thinks anime girls are ultra attractive a lot of the time, but I don't know what it is. Something about her character design in particular just resonates with me in that way. And also in my defense, it could be a lot worse. I mean... This is a franchise that is full of 10 year olds. At least I'm not saying that any of them are attractive though, but seriously, you make a character that's just that strangely attractive to me and she's my mom? Couldn't she have just been a gym leader or something so I wouldn't have felt scummy for it? Um, well, I mean, I guess if it makes things any better, I'm at least close to her age in real life and not close to Blair's age in real life, so. Uh, she's shouting at us though. It's your mom, how are things? That's all right then, enjoy your trip. I get rewarded with new shoes for making a pixie out of my room because my mom was able to find them. Yes, finally we no longer move at the speed of Sinnoh and we can tear everything up in our path. Oh, I'm so happy we finally have these, it's always such a relief. Unfortunately, I don't run quite fast enough to be able to shove this boulder, but we're gonna wanna remember that for later. But before we get too far into this route, I wanna draw attention to the town map in something that's a little bit bothersome, at least to me and nobody else. This town map is wrong. We did not leave Accumula Town to the north. We quite clearly left it to the west. That connecting is not correct, it's inconsistent, and it's wrong. And I'm pointing these things out because the game developers honestly probably knew but didn't care. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those fun little inconsistencies that's a little bit fun to point out, but I'm not gonna try to be too nitpicky about it instead. Okay, passable, passable. And a Pokeball. A little bit better. Ha! I know you can see me from right here, man! Uh, I bet you feel silly for underestimating me now because in a twist of fate, I got an item that lets me move faster than you thought. So you weren't able to relax and let me get a head start after all. That'll learn ya. The GTS! It links the world from the second floor of a Pokemon Center. The full name of GTS is the Global Trade Station. It links the world together, or at least it did up until about four years ago. I'm sorry to ran in your parade, buddy. You're kind of one of the last ones to uh, get the memo. And yeah, I do know that they're bushes though, but come on, when you really get right down to it, bushes are just really tall grass, aren't they? I'm getting philosophical on you, I'm sorry. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, the mighty youngster Joey. <laughs> <laughs> Makes it even better that you're the one saying that. But, uh, Legasp, 
he just sent out a Patrat, not a Ratata. I mean, I guess we could call it Patratata, but yeah, Youngster Joey not using a Ratata. What's up with that? Well, say, do you want this Panseer of mine? Handed me a free Pokemon in a back alley. I totally believe you didn't steal it. I'll take it. Hello, I'm Clyde. I'm the guide for trainers challenging a Pokemon gym. We appreciate your challenge in the gym. Take this to commemorate the occasion. I will keep this bottle of water as a souvenir for years to come as per your instruction. Hey, don't look at me funny. I have bottles of water with Nintendo logos on them from Nintendo events that I've kept as souvenirs for years to come. This is a regular occurrence for me. It takes way too long, and why not have the gym leader heal you? It would just be nice, thoughtful game design that inconveniences no one. Welcome to the Strident City Pokemon Gym. He's multiplying! I'm chilly. I light things up with fire-type Pokemon! I'm a water-type specialist, and my name is Cress. Pleased to make your acquaintance. And my name is... It's pronounced Silent. I don't like it either. Even though these three are based on the ingredients of salsa, so it's quite clearly cilantro, I guess now I know what happened to all those people that pronounced it jalapeno pepper. Yeah, they all grew up to work at Nintendo, and I didn't. <laughs> My room is upstairs here. Come on, go upstairs. <laughs> She's actually pretty cute. <laughs> so like I said, I'm Fennel, as you can see. I'm a scientist. In fact, the subject I'm researching is trainers. You are free to study me under whatever magnifying glass you want to study me under. <laughs> she asked me to help you guys. Dramatic battle music! What's this mean? I don't know. No, seriously. I don't know. Autono is a Pokemon of gimmicks! And who doesn't love that victory theme along with them saying PLASMA whenever they're defeated? They're great. I can't believe we lost! I know! Who could have ever seen it coming when you were only using a Purloin? You should have listened to my advice, you see. Okay, now. <laughs> okay, I'm calling you. Wow, that's actually kind of cool. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Wow. Oh my god, yours oh, actually god. turned out really good. <laughs> Holy god. Glad, glad That's you like actually really Glad funny. you like amazing uh, okay. stunning frame rate, isn't it? <laughs> That's amazing. I know, isn't it great? Yeah, just having video chat over this when you could walk over and just talk to that person. <laughs> I don't know why they spent the resources on it and yeah, you could have pure hearts at least. <laughs> But I mean, okay. <laughs> that makes me sound cold-hearted. <laughs> <laughs> I like the cut of your jib. <laughs> you asked me, should I evolve? I answered, do what? <laughs> oh, the pun possibilities. You and I are going to get along even better than we already did. Oh, it's so cool. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go with this one. It's female, so we got two girl Pokemon on our team already. Proud of its power. Uh, get it? Electricity? Power? <laughs> Couldn't resist. Well, okay, you're gonna come to our team. And as we go onward, we have another trainer battle. Now I get to show off everything I learned in the trainer school. Well, I got news for you, buddy. I went to that same trainer school for a whole day. Before we got too deep into it, I heard the fossils in the museum were found in Twist Mountain. Then a person called Clay apparently donated them to the museum. If you choose HELP at the PC at the Pokemon Center, you can learn many things. It's so cool, yes. Shout at your technology and it'll bring up tutorials. I wouldn't doubt if that's the direction technology is going in. Heck, it already does that if you shake your technology, so probably gonna happen. An archaeologist with a backbone. I certainly hope she has a backbone, otherwise she would just kind of be a blob on the ground. That was lame, even for me. <laughs> Welcome, I'm Hawes, the assistant director. Since you were kind enough to visit, I'll give you a tour of the museum. And then it hits you why there's no old Pokemon. This takes place in a post-apocalyptic future after all Kanto Pokemon have become extinct. But we survived just fine as a species, so it's all good. Whose bones are on display in this museum? The answer is your bones, my bones, 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 bone, bone, bone. <laughs> Can you solve the questions and come find me? Now this is the first question. What is the first Pokemon you met in this gym? Oh, that's easy, Dragonite! And if not that, Armaldo! And if not that, Deoxys! And if not that, Patrat. Yeah, I think that's kind of lame though, but we'll take it. It was the first, except not. 
<laughs> I walked far. My legs are sore. Um, you don't have to look. <laughs> I forgot she said that. That's pretty cool. Welcome to the big city, Castelia, not Castelia, thanks for that anime, needlessly complicating things, is based on Manhattan. Uh, do take note there, that's one of the few non unovan Pokemon that we'll be seeing on our entire journey. Enjoy it while it lasts, those of you who have to catch a Pikachu on every journey because you can't. <laughs> Let's go to the Pokemon Center first. Game Freak, without this building, this entire universe would not exist. It is the origin point of all existence. Or should I say the universe? That's kind of a stretch. <laughs> For those that don't know, under normal circumstances, there is only a 1 in 8,192 chance that a Pokemon will be shiny having this alternate color scheme. But here, these events just hand it to you on a silver platter. Kids these days never knowing what we had to go through. Activating Relocator. So the Lock Capsule remains a little footnote in Pokemon history, and it's a shame because the whole idea of obtaining an item not yet obtainable in any game and then transferring it forward to the game that it would debut in and getting it so you had it all along is a super cool idea. You hear that, Game Freak? I'm protesting outside your building about why you never did that. I hope you were listening. Sorry, I just, I, I really like this song. It's just so happy and exciting and it just makes the city feel alive and makes you excited to explore it and I would be remiss if I didn't gush about it just a little bit. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Sorry Scraggy, but you're not one of them. I'm sorry to cut you down. <laughs> I, I know that there are hidden items around here. I'm gonna go into this house. Ah, I can't wait until my sand dial evolves into glug glug glug. Everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Pokemon White version. Early, ich habe mir nun ein Auto zugelegt. Damn it! Damn it! Oh, whoa! Watch your mouth, there, buddy. He's beginning raising the age rating. Ist die nascheste Stadt der acht Gangs ohne Orden zum Greifen na? I'll stop right there. It's actually wait. Okay, I need to try that last word. Fürerscheinprüfung. Okay, I don't know what you just said though, but it sounded really funny. I've always liked how German sounds and how it's spelled, and if that's not even German, I deeply apologize for offending your culture. I love crossing my eyes like this. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Level 22, and we're trying to learn Embargo, which makes it so that your opponent has to wait until a certain date to talk about games, right? Okay, no, um... Let's see what you say. Sandstorms are terrible, but rock, ground, and steel-type Pokemon can weather a sandstorm without damage. I just said this a few minutes ago. You're only just barely too late on that one. Sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to steal your thunder. Um, get it? Because ground-type? <laughs> but I'll, I'll add a little bit more into what he was saying. Desert Resort is especially known for the Relic Castle. I'm a school kid, so I know this. Just like caves, you can run into Pokemon almost anywhere in the desert. But they don't like hiding in the Pale Sands. So if you walk there, you want it to worry about battling. Ha! You had to go to school to do that, to learn that. I learned it by having my mom just throw me out on the streets at age 10. Oh. I don't need no stinking education. Oh. I'm a trainer first and a doctor second. As always, when getting to a new area... Hey look, it's almost as forgettable as Finneon! Uh, I guess Univids wouldn't get that joke. But anyway, Maractus! So try out different TMs as you get them. Tired of hearing me say that a Pokemon has bad stats and takes forever to evolve? Too bad, Yamask! <laughs> psychic low. Now that I won, does that mean I unlock Psychic High? In total for exploring the desert was confident in my repels, just as I'm confident in my team. So I don't think it's really overly necessary for us to do those fights right now. Maybe if we gotta train something up in the future, we'll do that. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Not being subtle at all. You know me, I was never good at being subtle and still am not. Ho there! Up to level 11, get it getting us some more good items. Hello, fisherman. Hey, you want to know something? If this was any other region, you would totally have six Magikarp on your team and waste my time. Good thing this is Unova! <laughs> Don't need to be afraid of that whatsoever! That's another big positive of Unova, just not having to worry about running into the same tired Pokemon over and over again. You don't run into a Zubat in every cave, and sure, you might have only altered one phonetic sound of Zubat to make the Pokemon that you do run into every cave, but still, 
after a solid decade of running into Zubats in every single dark cave out there, it is nice. Wow. Ouch. When they said dumb bird, they weren't kidding. I may have been traveling to meet you. Just kidding. I don't know, man. I don't know. I have a pretty deep connection with that other backpacker that was down there. The one that I have such a deep connection with that I don't remember the name of. Yeah, him. Wait a minute. Do you feel that? Like, right now? I feel like there's some really great rift in the fabric of time and space that's just waiting to be opened up. I don't know, maybe just my imagination. But oh boy, we have the bicycle! We are registering this thing right away. <laughs> right away. Ah. And look, it's a random loading screen in the middle of a city. What is this, Horos? Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! I had to get in a cheap shot at that game. <laughs> Use your HMs. An elegant smasher has an elegant battle. That means you play Super Smash Brothers, right? Fang is the exact same way, but with flinch. Bright powder lowers the opponent's accuracy. Oh my god, there's a lot of these items! I'm running low on breath out! Okay. I keep thinking we're almost to the end, but we're not. Life Orb is a great, 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 great item. And right on cue... Ha! I'm healed! Duh. You're challenging the multi-train for the first time, right? You can't take this challenge alone. You need a partner. Are you here by yourself today? Why don't you team up with me then? It'll be fun. What sort of Pokemon should I use? Focused on attack. Focused on defense. Focus on balance. Uh, we'll go focus on uh, attack. How could you miss it? How about we watch TV? There's not really a whole lot going on in this town, so let's check it out. Asuza. Nitoru ni niku no no yoi soru kino sa oishi pasuta tabe tanda kedo sa ni niku ga sugoku ki tete teta no yo ni iki wo tome toeru no atashi no se ja ne yo ni toru nande Kyo wa sona ni shizuka na no sona ni no yo are ni nani what no way we're rolling hello mina P please watch kokan talk okay again okay sayonara well that's two minutes of my life that i'm never getting back and i am sorry for blowing your ears out. <laughs> sorry whenever i just see foreign languages i gotta try my best to read them which is very poorly <laughs> pretty necessary if you wanted to do any solo fighting <laughs> since the only other starting attack it'll have is hidden power mincing she will not talk to us whatsoever and you know what we do to people who don't talk to us we call in legendary Pokemon from another region and then storm their home with them to make them talk! The suspicious woman attacked! Those are words I never thought I'd see in a Pokemon game! Yes, she reveals herself to be... Suicune. Ah. Uh -huh. Wow, you called my Switch! I was thinking about switching there for a moment and just taking advantage of my ability- Man, uh, you rock. <laughs> Sending out your other Amalga, which is... But the combination of you and your Pokemon was even more impressive. It was... It was... An emotional roller coaster. <laughs> Very accurate description of that. Once again, being absolutely sure to not waste time. Another thing that changes after beating Elisa. Uh, no, I can't let walking beat... I can't let walking beat me. I have to get in the door. Getting off my bicycle would be admitting defeat. Uh, admitting defeat because I'm walking on my feet now. <laughs> I'm really dumb. Oh no, you fell in love with it right before you killed it! That's horrible! Crap, I'm not meaning to bite you guys. This big bag, what do you think is inside? Your mother. 
but what do I know? I'm not exactly musically talented, now am I? Musician Preston. Ow! His mouth is saying. Okay, all right. Man, they've gotta be a pretty boring city if it's known for cold storage. Nope, listen to this music! <laughs> Nothing on the dowsing machine. Okay, let's go inside. Eventually. Masculine has over it. I call on the power of the blue eyes white fish. Kind of lost the threatening oomph right there at the very end. But as is the case with most in-game trades, this is probably the most efficient way to raise the Pokemon in question. It will always have an adamant nature, highly beneficial. I'm on a roll here. Uh, that's not something to be proud of. I'm gonna put Hilbert in the second slot of my party for this. I think that's what I want to do. Yeah, okay, so I think we'll be pretty good from here on out. I'm a heartbreaker. My name, Charles. I wanted to get the attention of a girl I like, so I learned a new style of Pokemon battling. Its name, Triple Battle. Want to learn about it? In Triple Battles, you send out three Pokemon at a time and battle. The rules are simple, just make all your opponent's Pokemon faint. And that's a rough explanation of triple battles. I'm a heartbreaker, my name, Charles. Hey, if you're a trainer, how about a triple battle? You've got good attitude, don't you? I'm a heartbreaker, my name, Charles. I'm always at full throttle. In bed! <laughs> This is one of only two triple battles in the entire game. We have... <laughs> I didn't name this Scraggy. Somebody told me I have the perfect nickname for it, and they didn't let me see what it was until now. Well played. Well played. <laughs> Golden Pant the Scraggy. <laughs> Chunking down there for a second. Uh, we're gonna woo get a PP up! Even if you don't wanna use that, that's really good for selling. Wow, uh, okay, wow. That. What about Hordior? Now that I say that out loud, that sounds really bad. I hope that there is not a slur in there. Okay, the in game censorship didn't stop me from doing it, so. That's good enough for me. <laughs> Probably have guts. Uh, oh, that's a critical. Well, hard to say one way or the other, but regardless, I think we got this in the bag. <laughs> in the bag. <laughs> oh, Trubbish, I like you. I think you're cute in kind of a funny way, and on top of that, you lend yourself well to so many puns. Of course, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I can never read oh, no. In the manga, there is a moment where the frost on Vanillite's head falls off. Here's what it looks like, ball. <laughs> I love this picture. This right here, especially the reaction to the mo by the monkeys. It's so good. Is it not? Like, that is the best thing to ever come out of vanilla. And it actually happens to a vanilla at another point in the manga, so you can see what that looks like. Unfortunately, we've never see had the pleasure of seeing how the straw attaches to Vanillux's head, but there you go. Hopefully something that makes you like it a little bit more, because I certainly like that about it, if nothing else about it. Or when I'm allergic to the cold. Um, running into the cold storage, thinking it was a regular container. How can life be so cold? I like you. In this group, I'm fairly strong, and that's a fact. Side that says that Clay is just merely testing our abilities, and I guess that just- Oh! What? I picked a very good time to have Hilbert battle, all right. Trash versus trash duel. Whose trash stinks the worst? Much to do. So many great activities like stopping Team Plasma when they happen to be invading, which Clay wanted us to get rid of for some reason. Um, I guess tourists can spend their vacation doing whatever weird stuff they want. I'm pretty sure people have spent weirder, uh, spent money on weirder things for vacations. But anyway, we have to explore it at some point or another. And I was thinking it would be good to do it before the gym, just in case you want to pick up something that happens to be around here. You see how that works? being a little bit thoughtful for what you might want to do just because, you know, I kind of like having stuff that you can follow along with and all that. And okay, I'm going to stop ruining the magic by explaining exactly the purpose that everything that I'm doing right here serves because if you over explain everything, you kind of lose something in translation. Blair obtained a leaf stone. Don't smell me or my dearling ever again. 
Totally worth the four months of real time it would take to complete this side quest, and the deerling above me right now with me blocking certain features of it looks like a Sylveon. Like, it actually looks like a side sprite for a Sylveon down to every detail. It's kind of funny. Maybe that's where they get inspiration from new Pokemon, obscuring details in other ones and seeing how they misinterpret the sprites. Mm, I'm on to you, on to a lot of people lately. I'm figuring out the inner workings of this world. And this lady has waited four, has waited a whole calendar year to battle us. Let's give her a battle she will never forget. Oddly compelled to walk into them for some reason. I don't understand. Help her gain a lot of experience. Nature. You okay there, buddy? And down we go. So we are in somewhat of a pit. Curse this one little traffic cone. It's my one weakness. I'm not able to just move you out of the way. And if I could, I could so easily beat this gym. Oh, well, we got lots of battling to do. We got to... I'll be. Sure didn't see that coming. You know what else I don't think you see coming? Ha 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 Please do enough damage. Otherwise, I'm going to look really stupid in front of him. Yay! <laughs> didn't need to worry about you unspeeding me at all. The low power a little bit. I think I'll get rid of Pluck. I don't see myself using it ever again. The effect of eating an opponent's berry is kind of nice, and it does feel kind of trolly whenever you pull it off, but I don't think I will. Heh, <laughs> get it? Pull it off, because you're removing their berry. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I want to give you this too. Hey, look, it's another nugget from the Nugget Brothers. So both of the Nugget Brothers gave us a nugget. Nugget about it. That's a nugget. You don't even have to fly there because it's accessible to you from any time in the sea gear. Oh wait, you're not hip with the kids, so you don't have a sea gear. I see how it is. Ha <laughs> ha. Princes aside, and come together to agree with Smoggin's description of Watchdog. Game Freak must have said, "Let's take an overdone concept, make it as shitty as possible, give it the creepiest eyes known to Pokemon, and release it into the world just to watch the Pokemon fandom squirm." I don't have anything new to add. I was gonna bash it for the same reasons as Patrat, but they did it all for me. Wanted to go back and heal, but I think we're fine now, and I am bold enough to walk right in front of your face, because I'm bold enough to talk to that lady, and she was but training for you. You got lost and stranded on a clearly marked trail when you are a backpacker. Looks like we got a poser on our hands, and you know what we do to posers? We... Man, uh... No wonder you got stranded if all you have is a semi and you're exploring an area where it's raining by default. Oh boy! Come here and let me show you my shell! Uh, right after you show me your dainty little fingers. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Okay, it didn't hit all five times, but that was really funny. I was already gonna rag on semi for being terrible, but... But wow, you're even a bad trainer of a simi seer. <laughs> what? I need to throw up a rappel. <laughs> there we go. What I, so an idea that I've always wanted is a Pokemon that is a different type in all three stages of its evolutionary family. Timber could be fighting grass type, Girder could be fighting steel type, and Conkeldur could be fighting rock type. I know that maybe it's not really the best game design because you, you know, the player wouldn't really know what they'd be ending up with, but. For those that would know about it, it could make it very interesting. That <laughs> would know about it. For a playthrough where you could make sure you have the right type at the right time in the playthrough. All right. Show them who's boss. Show that. Squad, squad, loon. Squad, 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 loon. Squad, squad, loon. Yeah, yeah. Squad, squad, loon. Squad, 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 loon. I can never not hear them saying that whenever I listen to Tidal Tempest anymore. <laughs> For the last several years, ever since I've seen the Pokemon Squad Loon and then replaying Sonic CD, I always hear Squad Loon in that song. I was saying ya yeah, ya yeah, you, but it just it sounds like it to me. Okay. Very thankful that I had a priority move there in that circumstance. Good to know that you're good at listening, even though you have no ears. It's not a skill that I assume would come very naturally to your kind. I will take my pointless Moxie. Just I gotta feed Terabyte's ego. I'll recover a little bit of health, and that's it. You need a nurse's help? Sure. If you can win against me, I'll make your Pokemon healthy. And from having a full heal in the middle of this dungeon, I'll have enough inertia to reach the top. <laughs> Shachiko. That, that would be my dream come true. I'm not even a Love Disc fan. I can't, I, I think Love Disc is terrible. I, I really do. Did I just say love dicks? No. <laughs> love disc. Wow, what a terrible way to slur your words. 
That's actually kind of funny. Celestial Tower means a perfect tower. Oh, never mind. Let's have a Pokemon battle. You're actually wrong. It means Tower of Heaven. That's what this place is called in Japan. With the parallels from that, you could draw the... They were intending for this to be based on um, the Tower of Babel. And Ace Trainer Beckett. I guess that makes you Beckett Pokemon Collector. Doesn't take me long to rebuild my confidence so I can keep making puns. It's really odd that in a land of the dead, I'm making a lot of puns. And your Stoutland has the wrong ability. How unfortunate for you. You're really perfect. 1980 Pokemon dollars. I am far from perfect. Um, you're really creepy, buddy, actually. Like, that is the most over-the-line comment I think I've ever gotten. You're really perfect with the big old smile you had in your face. You know what? I'm sorry I ever made a pun about you, so I take it back. Healed up rock. I didn't need any stinking nurse. I just... Uh, us heroes, we got to abide by a certain code of ethics, you see. Even though N seems to believe that he is also the hero of this journey, so um, I guess things really aren't so black and white. <laughs> Cleverly named versions. Yep, they don't go in diagonals because that would break the laws of physics in this world. I'm going to keep Hilbert in the lead. He hasn't really been doing a lot of fighting. Heck, to be blunt with you, he's kind of been, well, baggage lately. <laughs> yeah, I thought... All right, let's see how hard you've been practicing. Um, going back to what I was saying earlier, though, I was kind of wanting to say this. The whole thing about moving at a vehicle and having less time to react because you're moving toward each other, I've heard... Uh, I want to preface this by saying that I am by no means a safety expert, so I don't know if there's any truth to this, but there is something that you're always told as a kid, and it really bothers me. Maybe I'm wrong, and maybe you shouldn't listen to me because, again, I am no expert in this, but I've always thought it was really stupid. They tell you to walk as a pedestrian on the right side of the road so that if a car is coming towards you and going to hit you, you have more time to react because you're not moving towards it. That's always what I heard as a kid. But I don't agree. I feel like if you can walk on the left side of the road and actually see the traffic coming towards you, you would know if a car is on a collision course with you and could much easier jump out of the way than when you're already in the headlights. It's always bothered me, and I always thought it was just the stupidest safety tip ever, but yeah, I was told that by my parents. I was told that in school. Um, gosh, now that I'm saying out loud, maybe everyone in my life as a child hated me. I was a pretty terrible child, I'm not going to lie, so maybe that's what it actually is. Trainer, do you remember what you were told at the beginning? Good to know that that face beating is going to be memorable for you. Okay, okay, I won't show off too much. Guys? Uh, guys? Uh, you guys are gonna move, right? Guys? I saw that guy walk walking around. I hope he can move. Please. Did I discover essentially a soft lock? It's been a minute or two and they still haven't moved to one inch and... I've tried looking this up and there's no notes about it anywhere. I looked up Wellspring Cave Pokemon Stuck and no results about this came up. Uh, it's a good thing I just saved, but it's an even more good thing that I have more escape ropes than I know what to do with. <laughs> Who knew that catching all those little pups would save my life someday? <laughs> Let's get out of here. Her foot on the ground because I'm on my bike, in my case, and we're actually past the front door. Let's go over the new encounters that you are able to find inside of the Mistralton Cave. Actually, we only have one new encounter. <laughs> Axu! Oh boy. Let me tell you about this little guy. This is the whole package for a physical sweeper. He's decently viable even in his current state, starting with Dragon Claw Slash and potentially Dragon Dance. Plus, it actually evolves within a few levels of being caught! Hallelujah! <laughs> I said actually again. <laughs> would be nice if, you know, YouTube had some kind of feature that would allow you to on-screen correct things like that whenever you inevitably make mistakes because, you know, we're all human, but nope. I guess such a thing just isn't possible on today's technology or on the technology of 10 years ago. No siree, Bob. Can't have a feature like that on the website because it just has no place anywhere, you know? It just isn't possible. Now here's where the magic happens. I very subtly slip in that if you continue to surf on this water that I just simply ignored, you can travel underneath the bridge 
And on the other side, there's this little tiny strip of land waiting for you. And across from it is a silver powder. Just in case you were still wondering how the heck you are supposed to pick that up from the very first time we visited here. Anyway. Man, you're outdoing yourself. The second sacred sword wielder is also the network's fastest 4G LTE, which I don't know how much I believe that because every network says that, so one of them has to be lying, and that means there's what, like a one in four guess that it's you? Yeah, I don't know if I buy it. We can't- Oh, and uh, if you're worried about the form differences, they are purely cosmetic, so don't worry which one you want to catch. If you're at all interested in rippling water around here is your choice between the girliest spaceship ever built or the dreaded Pringles guy! Strangely, this can be encountered as weak as level 5. To me, looking down from this height is just making me want to go and battle that trainer so I can take whatever item he's guarding. Jeremiah. Jeremiah was a Bulldor! Da -da -da. <laughs> I just thought of the song when I saw that. <laughs> sure enough, the Pokemon he sends out begins in bowl. <laughs> Go for it, Garboder! Use your Focus Blast! Make us proud! Show them how powerful you can be, even though it has dirty. Good. Who do I want to switch in for this? Terabyte, I think you could handle something like this. On a small rise of land, you and I face each other. Why, yes, sir, we are facing each other right now! Okay, that's not what he meant. He looks very unamused. Just wanted to remember what he said. Uh, is that... Back during the days of Pokemon Dream World, if you stored a female Frillish or Jellicent in the Dream World, they would appear as male because there wasn't a check for gender differences on them. There actually was artwork created for the female forms, but it goes unused, so here you go. Technically unused content. Not sure why that's the case, but yeah, it's probably the strangest, most unnecessary bit of unused content and one of the least interesting, but because it's so remarkably uninteresting, that kind of makes it interesting in and of itself, because it's a little remote, you know? At least that's how I think about it. And hey, yet another Frillish! For all the lives that you have taken, I'm gonna sink my teeth into you and suck the life out of you! But unfortunately, you're a ghost, and this is not an HP recovery move, so there was no life to steal both ways that you look at it. Whoosh! Shh! And... They said that all the gym leaders got up and had a chat about that, and Skyla's the one who told us where Team Plasma was going? Man, some help she is. Maybe she's doing some sort of an inside job with the enemy. I got my eye on you. In more ways than one, because she's Skyla. <laughs> okay, no. I don't I, I, I guess I kinda like Skyla. I don't like her as much as him, some people do. I found, while we're running around, let's go over the new encounters here. Is the Pokemon I wanna catch one of them? You'll see. Oh! Whoa! Wow. I was about to get started on my spiel and you interrupted me. Uh huh. That's kind of funny. I'm pretty happy with that and it's not as bad as it could have been. I'm gonna feed my ice type an ice cream cone. It's cannibalism, I tell you! Most animals are cannibals, so I could believe that snowflakes are too. Being what that is- oh! Iron! I guess that means this isn't a wooden bridge after all, it's just painted to look like one! Gonna give that to Hilbert? Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Welcome back to more Pokémon White version! Last time, we reached an area as... White is the version that we are playing in! Twist Mountain, covered in snow! You know what? I've been very overdue on talking about this, and there really isn't a whole lot going on, so... I apologize in advance for the live- jarring live action, but... There's something that I do to bother my friends every time that I hear the hikers theme. It's just a silly little song, and I like how it sounds, and I thought that that was a very fitting visual for it, so... I just kind of started doing it every time I heard it. Yet another way that I love hikers and just can't get enough of the guys. You have a Woobat? Well, that's awfully good news for us now, isn't it? Wouldn't you say? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop trying to convince you that, you know, hey guys, Krogonal's good. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink, ha, 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 ha. Don't you believe it? Yeah, I'm just gonna kind of do my thing from here on out, okay? Ha! You thought you'd make me susceptible to ground-type moves? Instead, you just put me in the ground. <laughs> 
You are gonna pay for what you did. I just hit you for probably over a thousand damage when you only had four left. You had a very painful last moment. Crap! Okay, at least it didn't get me below half. That's the important part. Come on, but hey, that's what non-linearity does to you. You see something over there in the distance and you just gotta go over and run and grab it. And then, whoops, you have chained together five more instances of that. And wait, what was the story objective again? Yeah, happens to the best of us. It's kind of funny, a lot of people correcting me on bats not being avian and evolving from a completely different ancestor. I thought avian was a word that just meant it could fly, okay? I don't know what a lot of words mean unless video games teach me about them. This is my sad and uncultured existence, and I'm just gonna have to get used to the fact that I don't know what a lot of words mean. But that's okay. As long as you're still correcting me on it, I can grow as a person regardless. Oh, please have the thing I want. Flying Jam, yes! Well, I guess you could say this was the light at the end of the tunnel that I was waiting for, yes! Flying Gem. Strengthens the power of a flying type move once. Village of the Seasons. It's pretty darn cool. See you guys then. My sweet bananas! Fur. Because even simple little places like this have things to see. I want to head back into the Pokemon Center because I want to show something that I glossed over before. <laughs> Grab a big mushroom. I'm impressed that you were able to grow in these conditions. Grab a tiny mushroom. I'm even more impressed that you could grow in these tiny conditions. More, really? Another tiny mushroom. Maybe she was a single parent raising twins. I'm a little impressed that she was a- I was a little impressed the little ones were able to survive here, considering the larger one at least has more padding, but so they did, but it's okay. They're gonna be a lot more safe and snug and warm living inside my bag. Never mind the fact that I uprooted them from the ground and they're going to die any moment. I'm about to raise your opinion of this game quite a lot. Don't believe me? Oh! Member of Team Rocket I was! Long time gone! But Team Rocket, bye-bye! I'll go-go! Uh, my, I, my region went home! Make new Team Rocket! I did! So myself I pledged! But now married I am! But now I married M. Now for Team Rocket, there is no time by me. But happy family is big. Hooray! He got married. He was going to resurrect Team Rocket. But he ended up falling in love, giving it up, and now has a child. <laughs> and then moved to Unova. <laughs> this is where he went. This is also official canon timeline placement. Meaning that this is a sequel taking place some number of years after Heart Gold, Soul Silver, and Platinum. Hey, I have a lot of souvenirs that my sweetie's old co-worker gave me. This is true. To make this more of an emotional roller coaster, how about we watch some brain rotten television? Osu! Tatakai! Wendon! No. Uh, recently, I met an Utsukushi woman at a party. The second I saw her, I knew that I had seen her somewhere before, but I couldn't remember her name. So in this situation, I went up to her and I said this. Dakota de ata koto aruke doko. It means, have we met somewhere? And what do you think she said to me? What? I work with you every day. You're not serious, right? Aya! It was an all pretty up Azusa! Shimata! So that's it for today's Kokan Pak! I hope that Azusa will start to talk to me again soon! Uh-huh. It's a pretty impressive- I'm not even standing in the dang puddle! How dare you fart at me when I'm- <laughs> Come on, when I'm trying to do my intro. <laughs> Seriously! <laughs> we can meet in the surrounding locations. Let the hate flow through you, says Emperor Palpatode. Fear its water ground type, good for offense and defense. Its family has no especially bad stats, and its abilities are interesting. No wonder it was able to create an empire. But seriously, note that hydration becomes diagonal that we were fighting. I think that's reason enough to give it to it. Going back to the puzzle, you got these buttons, you press them, it moves the machinery, and you can slide in different directions and you use that to move forward. We are shattering expectations into dust once again! Getting into the violent spirit of this gym, after all, I like it. It being weird looking is, it, it's back sprite bothers me. That's one criticism that I'll give it. You see those two lines on the left segment of its body? They are misaligned, meaning that it's not perfectly symmetrical on that one part of its body. It bothers me so much, and you know, 
If I'm gonna have to stare at it for the next several hours of gameplay with you, I'm gonna drag you down with me by pointing it out so you'll be bothered too! <laughs> and good, we can two-shot Kraganol that are just a little bit lower leveled than us now, even with our high special defense. Longer than I thought it w would have thought. Uh, there's a little invention called repels. Are you meaning to tell me that you haven't had any this entire time and you're that under leveled? Not really impressing me there. Icerous City, we can give these to these statues. And we all know that when you try to feed a candy bar to a statue, it comes to life and attacks you! That'll learn you to share your candy. Pummel your pretty Pokemon right down into the ground with a relish. I much prefer mustard, but ha! Joke's on you, sheltered person who's never left Unova! Shiny Empoleons are teal! There's no such thing as a black Empoleon! Your little gang of Solam is not even canon! That'll teach you to not study in Pokemon Trainer School in Striden City! Uh, hopefully my paycheck is in the mail for the free marketing. So he's got a Boofle on, we haven't seen- <laughs> Okay, I feel like you could give this gang names with really unfortunate implications if you beat him using certain Pokemon, but I'm gonna leave it at that. <laughs> Wow, uh, I caused his confidence so much that he named his gang after Trash. <laughs> I knew he named it after one of your Pokemon, but I thought it was going to be the one that you won the fight with, not who you led with. <laughs> so I was expecting it to be Black Samurai, and I got quite the shock there. Yeah! We're taking the name of your rough and tough Pokemon. It's a wilder name for a wilder team. The Black Garboder! <laughs> That's awesome! I think you have problems, buddy. Okay, you're just saying the exact same thing. <laughs> the Black Garboder. <laughs> is the other guy... No, the other guy's not here anymore, is he? Eh, no one can beat my speed and fury. Picking up a can of lemonade off of the road, but it's okay, it's not unsanitary. Because I'm not the one who's going to be drinking it. Now, so we go upstairs and we find... He's been keeping live football players in his attic! <laughs> Scandal of the century. Better sell this to the tabloids. I'm concerned about your Pokemon's weight. Seriously, why can't there be any, like, teal-eyed girls in this universe? Like I'm needing any more girls to come here. Uh, if all Pokemon are released, trainers and gym leaders will no longer exist. For better or for worse. Your Garboder. Looks like you can try a little hard. Excuse me! My garbage became the leader of a gang! I think that's worthy of at least something. I hope that your last name is Ryan. I truly, truly do. And that speck of land that exists out of bounds seems to be in a lot of houses. I'm catching you reusing the geometry of these building interiors to cut corners in development. Yes, I am. Good, good. I don't have to ingest my footwear. I gotta say, that would have been a real feat. Out a little bit, and the only way that you can do so is by interacting with other trainers in the union room, or whichever your preferred method of trading is like. You know, mine certainly isn't inference, that's why I'm choosing this one. As the man outlined in a rotation battle, can you master it? Huh? Every turn in a rotation battle in more ways than one? You better not have the elemental monkeys, please. She totally does. Okay. <laughs> I wonder what he's been up to since then. You see that statue right over there? It's an angry platypus. I mean, just look at it. It's got the dark, angry eyebrows. You can see its eyes, they're white. And then it's got the dark bill. It's a platypus that's very... But if you proceed, prepare yourself. Moving forward half-heartedly is disrespectful to your Pokemon. Do I actually have the option to retreat? No, I don't. Shows you, good buddy. I don't have any choice in the matter at all. I gotta keep going through this puzzle if I want any chance to be able to leave. So much for your whole philosophical crap you were trying to force on me. You're no better than a bad English teacher who's looking for symbolism and teaching secondary meanings that aren't actually there and just trying to make everything sound a lot more complicated than what was actually intended. Uh, I needed to heal badly, I just realized. So I went and took care of that. Drud again. More like dead again. Ha 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 ha! Alright, there, there's not a whole lot going on here, so I want to talk about Iris. Right. Please survive. Good, good. I'm happy that Haywire is getting to be useful in this fight. Heck sure as heck isn't. <laughs> sure as hex isn't. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, okay, I need, to, I need to focus on this. Uh, Pokemon, that's why I love you so much. Your stats the way they are and what you are, I guess you could say you're my special snowflake. 
Ah, I did my best, but we lost. Finally, text I can actually digest at my slow reading speed. Brain. Ah, went away again. I guess you could call me a storm chaser. It appeared for the pun, yes! Puns are the source of my luck! It explains so much about me, really. Thunderous is a- One, two, three! Oh my god! But for one of the two, I wanna go and be a real man among men! We're doing this the legit way. We're catching it in something else. Unfortunately, there is not a single Unovan Pokemon. And you barely shook it off. You have not earned being this hard to catch. No, you are, as far as I'm concerned, as good as a DeviantArt recolor. You, and you are about as overpowered as one too, okay? You have not earned this. You need to be kind. <laughs> Just let me do it! Been here for an hour! You got a Cryogonal, I got a Hex, which is kind of like a Cryogonal, but better because it has an X at the end. Take it to the fridge that you are and that it is. Oh. On the plus side, I know I'm surviving this just fine. <laughs> Been a while since I've gotten on that power trip. <laughs> power trip, electric type. <laughs> Come on, give me. Can. So, um. We're on a bridge. This is the part where you tell me you like me. I wish I could say something, like, totally inspiring. You know? Um, okay, best foot forward. Bianca, we were on a bridge together in a dramatic moment before I'm going off to my final battle. This is the part where you tell me you like me. I'm just saying, that's how this sort of thing works. That's how you can be inspiring in said situation. Taking my max repel. I can't believe what a hard time I had with that. Black Belt Cory has a sock. No, you don't. You're barefoot. Hardy, 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 harm. <laughs> and hello, Hatsune Miku. Hey, my Pokemon are great. Look, look. I don't care. I will keep comparing her to that because it's kind of uncanny, the resemblance. Maybe not when you actually get into battle, but on the field, yes. Ooh, Sawsbuck! All right! Highly recommended or anything, but it hasn't been quite as bad as I remembered it being, so I'll at least give it that. But now that I've thrown at that one bone, I have to meet my daily quota of Bear Tick Shade by pointing out that if you remove its arms and legs, it's totally a white Dorito. Just saying! How do I have it again? I showed that I had the expert belt on! Tonight on Unsolved Mysteries, goth girls breaking into my room at night and putting a lump of purple goo on my crocodile without me knowing about it. And it's not even an innuendo for anything. That's just how wacky of a scenario that we're dealing with here. Whatever you're into, buddy. But that's how I felt about it, okay? I thought it was pretty lame. One. That's pretty lame too. Using helping hand. Friends aren't here to save you now. They're inside of a virtual box that I will never let them out of for the rest of their days. And you're going to join them. I can see why you'd be a little bit less than enthusiastic to uh, let me do that. So uh, I won't blame you for breaking out of that ball, but maybe you have the memory of a goldfish and I can count on um, something else happening and you just forgetting about it in the present time. So let's talk about something else. Pokemon League is a place where you both pursue strength and express it. The way to express it is simple. Kick their asses! You just have to beat the Elite Four and the Champion. You can start your challenge by battling any of the Elite Four. Excuse me, you're a challenger, right? I am the Elite Four's ghost type Pokemon user, Chantal, and I shall be your opponent. Don't worry, I Chantel. Ha <laughs> uh, Had to get in one more pun in there, had to dig into you really deep here in the end. We're in the undead room after all. She is beginning her fight with Kafa Grigas, level 48, ghost type, mummy for its ability, with the moves Psychic, Will-O-Wisp, Shadow Ball, and Grass Knot. I want to shut this thing down immediately. So you know what we're doing. Well, Acrobatics getting a one and a half times buff, and then another one and a half times buff. Crunch has 
80 power. Yes, acrobatics will do more damage with a flying gym. Go on. Nuke it! I have been wanting to do this for so long, and this is what I think I can do. By simply just nuking this. Oh, no. Oh, no. No! Eatings on how to deal with Team Plasma, but thanks, Silent Chili and Cress. Didn't need you anyway. They even had three slots for you in their lineup for you guys to show up. I don't know. I guess they were too busy mowing the lawn or something. I guess Silent's hair isn't going to cut itself, or they could be tending to the shrubs in the city. Never mind. I'm getting off topic. Delicious invisible burger! Were we talking about Team Plasma's Seven Sages? What does this have to do with looking for those people? Why, Mom? It's fishing up trouble! I see. Go slip under that and go over this way. I feel like I picked that up, but apparently I never did. Here I thought I was being very meticulous about picking up every single item along the way, and lo and behold, there was one at the very beginning that I never got, and... Don't let me... No. It's part of my identity that I don't let walking beat me. No. Okay. Just, just good. I don't care that I would be at my destination faster if I just got off the bike. That would be losing my inner self. Now, uh... Unless, of course, it was traded at level 95 or above, in which case it would be level 100. This thing can be a beast, and I guess you could say it would make you die. <laughs> Been waiting to use that one, but it's kind of nice. It even has the nickname that you've given it, if you did give it one, that's wild. I did say it wouldn't be a seven-parter. I didn't say anything about a two-parter. See you guys then. I'm not just some weirdo kid who wears shorts. It's cool looking. Second is Onyx, which itself is pretty fast for a rock type. Certainly a lot faster than it would seem like at first glance. We already have the metal coat to evolve it, and upon doing so, it drops that speed and rock type to get one, two, three. Good. You see, it's symbolic in that the thing that sets it apart and makes it unique from other Darmanitan is the blue, but it is still a fire type underneath all of that. And its physical appearance is still represented by the red that is acting as an accent to its true abilities. Yeah, I'm weird. All right. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Pokemon White version. Last time, we had two legendary Pokemon for the price of one, Grandma, or young lady, I wouldn't really call Volcarona or especially Meloetta a grandma, but uh, yes, we fought against Volcarona. You lost to a cast form. You lost? To a cast form. Ottawa nets level 54. Because we're playing basketball. Haywire is level 50. X is level 51. We can now officially say every member of the team is one upter. And back to the matter at hand. My arch nemesis, the traffic cone, has retreated to reproduce and multiply in the basement. Bronius of the Seven Sages. I will bring this kid down. <laughs> Your name's Bronius. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. We've all liked that show from time to time. <laughs> uh, your name has not aged well. Hello, Plasma Grunt. Watchog. I get to beat up on Watchog and make fun of it. Speaking of Pokemon that don't age well in the face of high-level battles, let's see how you do. Because of you, I'm now X Team Plasma. Being an X doesn't sound cool, does it? How are you going to make it up to me? Are you kidding me? Being an X sounds so extreme. <laughs> I guess she's putting X at the beginning of that, so it's not like, I'm Team Plasma, X! I'm just an X Team Plasma, so yeah, I guess you're kind of right that it doesn't sound as cool as it could be, because putting X at the beginning of something doesn't make it sound as cool as putting the X at the end of something. I'm a really big expert on this topic, if you will. All right. Uh that is the main thing that we came for in Chargestone Cave. These repels are the worst. I'm so spoiled by the text of the repel war off. Would you like to use another? I'm so spoiled by the free space. I am so spoiled by pretty much every menu design choice that came later, which sucks because, again, I don't think these menus are even really that bad. It's just they have not aged well. 
I'm, I'm talking about a lot of things that have not aged well. Cranidos Crush! Feel its wrath. <laughs> this is the epitome of glass cannon. Oh, Suddenly winter! Why? Because I felt like it, okay? I've had plenty of good reasons for changing the clock over our many months on this journey, but... I just kind of felt like seeing this place in winter because I complimented it a lot last time, and... We have a trade that we need to take care of. Your headset looks like it has the Mexican flag on it. I'm just gonna put this as bluntly as I can. What is the obsession with Caldeo's butt? I'm not making things up here. I am not drawing parallels that aren't there. Look at its official artwork. Look at more of its official artwork. Heck, it even shoots water out of its ass in the dang anime. Okay, I know it's a hind kick, but it, it looks like it's shooting water out of its butt, okay? At least that's what I thought. And I know that I'm not alone on this thought, because not only is it such a recurring pattern in so many official works, and I know that you could say that it's that Keldeo is doing hind kicks because it's kind of like a donkey and all that, and they tend to do hind kicks, but you can't tell me that you didn't look at that extra line of detail that they didn't need to draw on its leg and tell me that you didn't immediately think that was a butthole. I know that that's been the case among any friends that I've brought this up to, because I've talked with many people about this over the years because of just how much it bothers me, and I'll just be like, you know, is it me or does Keldeo's official artwork have a butt- and that's as far as I get before they're like, oh my god, you understand me! <laughs> it's such a weird, consistent choice in any sort of official artwork depicting Keldeo. I know that there's official artwork where he's not like that, but it happens a lot more often than it doesn't. Let's move on and actually talk about how Keldeo is as a Pokemon. With good speed and great special attack combined with two good attacking types. I'm gonna go on inside. No! I didn't think you needed Flash for that. Maybe you might want to start switching over to some other Pokemon. You startled me. You are a person. <laughs> What, you're not using Flash? In the story I know, the legendary Pokemon was training its student Pokemon. Always two there are, a master and an apprentice. But which one was destroyed? As exciting as it might sound at the prospect of having two legendary Pokemon in a cave for us, if you can get it to evolve, its physical stats are very solid. See what I did there? Has a good attacking type with... Good, your defense stat was not enough to stop that plan. I'm feeling a little bit better about this now, in before he sends out Dragonite. Dra <laughs> I saw a D right there and I was scared! Uh, don't take that out of the context, please. Come on, alright, we can do this. warm a <laughs> More like warm a damn you suck at choosing Pokemon for your team! <laughs> okay, we got this in the bag. I might not have a fire type that can quad weak you, but... That's okay, we can take you out in a couple of hits, and you ain't gonna do diddly squat. I highly recommend it that you teach it to yours, even if I'm not teaching it to mine. That doesn't make me a hypocrite in the slightest, does it? <laughs> Consequences in terms of physics. Is there- there is a hidden item on this roof that I've never picked up. I thought I picked that up and made a joke about it. This would be a good time to mention that there are items that are hidden on the ground. Why does it continue here? And you know what? Let's just fight you. I'm tired. I'm impatient. Probably we're gonna take less turn to time to. T you're probably gonna take less time to do this. Per me moi de te provoquer en duel afin que je puisse gravar notre rencontre dans ma mémoire. Excuse you. Uh, Bikepacker Talon is based on... It's a bridge in Italy. Lady, I am so sorry for the decisions that have led you on this path down your life. I will look for a new start, but Trad and I can do it together. Three months before you even started this contest, I am that fast at doing this. That ought to be worth a lot of prize. Oh, this is a great Basculin! When it comes to the official, waiter, official hip waiter's catch of the day, a Pokemon you caught before today doesn't count. So...
<laughs> I was too fast. Well, I'll show him. I won't fish for this. I'm just gonna surf for it because we uh, weasel. Uh, Basculin can be found surfing just about anywhere. So that's completely a lost cause, but what is not a lost cause is standing on this bridge at nighttime. It's great. It is so great, it has made the eyes roll into the back of my head and now I look very scary. Let's fix that. Now I look like I just have dots for eyes and a very fat head. Now you can't really see my face. Now, okay, there we go. Now I look pretty nice, but you can't see the bridge. Oh well, I will sacrifice my face for the well-being of this bridge. She's from Alice, but maybe she moved here in the interim and I'm uncovering new complexities in her character. Starting off, we have a few new Pokemon that can be met in Village Bridge itself, inside a town. Let's meet them. Oh, you made fun of him. But the barrel is back with a vengeance! Both abilities are good fun. In corner of town, we got a seminar for how to cook your Pokemon. I'm happy to be able to eat with my Pokemon. I didn't sign up for this, you got the wrong guy. I swear I'm not Emily. Or I guess that joke doesn't work because my character is named Blair. Baker Chris had a point because that's probably what they're actually doing. Um, yeah. Scare me by showing me your very terrifying nipples and belly button that vaguely resemble a face. We all did it as kids. I've even seen a Pokemon before and I'm like, wow, how'd you manage that? I'm sorry, I forgot my uniform. <laughs> I didn't even notice. Had you not pointed that out, I wouldn't have even been aware of it. That was, that was pretty funny. As we press on and on and on, I recommend that you pull out right away your dowsing mech on. Your item finder. 53 energy ball just in the middle of this little meadow. Makes sense with it being a grass type move. That is an excellent special attack. I, no, I don't want to say, no, I don't want to save. In my celebration of picking up such a good item, I guess I really didn't want to lose it, but you can now see it took me 74 hours to do everything. I want to see if I can teach. That's all getting thrown out the window as we move on to Sunker. <laughs> the weakest of all Pokemon in terms of stats. You don't want to hear about it more. Remember setting up Sunny Day for it? It just won't get a lot of chances to even do that. I guess you could say Trick Room is where it would shine brightest, but Really, just, just use other grass types, please. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Pokemon White version. Last time, we left Village Bridge. How sad. And we passed the shortest route ever to Lakanosa Town, which makes you wonder why they don't just be a dick to the wildlife around here and connect the two into one giant city. They could have the highest population in Unova and take over the world. I actually used to think as a kid that every city was trying to have the highest population because of SimCity and that all the little small towns were just attempts where the city planners gave up and realized they were never going to beat New York that fast. But uh, getting sidetracked very early on, th I'm, but uh, I'd rather not get talking about politics. There are a lot of people uh, in the world and there are just as many different characteristics and ideas. Sounds like an NPC that they would put kind of in the middle of the main story, but we kind of resolved that whole truth versus ideals thing. And uh, hate to tell you, but ideals won. It's factually better because I willed it into being so, and there's not going to be a battle for another 1,000 years to decide it, so how about that? After dark, this place is a ghost town. Nobody comes out at nighttime. Y'all live like a bunch of wild animals. No, seriously, this is the first and only time that the human characters have ever had schedules where they run around town at night, uh, during the day. At night, a scary monster comes out of the big hole, so you have to go home and be good, which is how you were conceived. <laughs> it's after dark, so I can say that to him. Let, let's see the power, actually. I have higher special attack than attack. That's 50 power getting cut, yeah, yeah. I, I think Thunderbolt would actually be wiser. If only just a barely, it'll probably hit for about the same damage that, oh. Can I just say, ow? That's all I'm hitting for? That's kind of dangerous. Jesus. Considering it's only quarter chance of making him not able to attack. Endeavor. How long are you gonna use that attack? Forever and ever. I've used that joke before. Okay, I'll try to think of some new things. It's been a few years since the last time, okay? And besides, some of you might not have even known that, so I drew attention to it myself. 
We've had an unusual, we've had a kind of lamely, if lamely is even a word, kind of a lamely easy time against the legendary Pokemon that we've battled so far, where they were over in one or two turns, or they had a very high catch rate for story purposes, or something of that nature, but please! Why? As soon as I compliment you for being the first legendary Pokemon to give us any modicum of challenge, you go and do that! Kirim, you done goofed! And not just because you spat out your internal organs because two stupid kids couldn't agree on what you your power should be used for. That's a pretty stupid move. Hey guys, you know that legend that you guys were so afraid of where you won't even leave your houses after dark? I own him now! And what a disappointment he is. Relax nature. Your move. Uh, 65 power, 95 accuracy. Uh, reduces the target speed stat upon doing damage. So, basically, super powered icy wind, and probably more useful in singles because of that. Wait! <laughs> on all the other nights, you you go away on business trips. Oh. On all the other nights, the roughneck is in here with his leg. <laughs> um. Well, I'm very glad you practice what you preach and saying that there's a lot of people out there with different characteristics and ideals, Miss Polygamy. <laughs> or, sorry, in your case, Mrs. Polygamy. <laughs> Look at us from the side. You lack a nose, I lack a nose, we all lack a nose in Lacunosa Town. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Berries or something, but yeah, I'm looking for a gram. Sorry, buddy. You're Gramp. <laughs> ...that I have on those previous ones, even though you are special, I think I should be able to just charge right through ya. <laughs> charge. Recoil. Rocky helmets. <laughs> Poison. I didn't know you could learn that! There's good stuff around here, and that continues with TM29 Psychic! I was just saying, I need a Psychic type move on the team somewhere, it's probably the best move type that I don't have on the team. And the moment of truth. <laughs> a pile of garbage is the only thing that can learn Psychic. You mean to tell me y'all are dumber than a sack of trash? <laughs> However, I hate to disappoint you, you are about to get blasted back to the Stone Age by someone from the Stone Age, so they're the most qualified person here to tell you that that's where you're getting blasted. Can you take out a Farfetch'd in one hit? Good. I would be ashamed of you and your family for generations to come if that wasn't the case. Granbull! Hex. I know, somewhere in that cold, icy shell. You are really smart, so I need you to imagine something with me. If you imagine really hard that it's 2013, I think this can be super effective. Come on. It is 2013. It is 2013. It is 2013. Uh, it is really not 2013. Ouch. Whoa! I was about to say, well, that's what I get for pretending we're in Pokemon X and Y, but I guess not. Uh, just kind of mess with them. Ottawa, you got this. This fight has your name written all over it. Even though the thing written on it is, ooh. Still, what does Ottawa start with? That's right. Even though you can just walk through the grass with a rappel, I don't care. Oh, a lovely trainer. Would you like to meet the Pokemon that make me proud? No, I'd like to beat the Pokemon that make you proud. That's what I was just going on about. Let's do this. You make sure that it is the summer months. The sea! <laughs> I like how it vibrates every time I talk to him and he just keeps playing the sound effect. Ah, oh, Cynthia. Why are you so Cynthia? <laughs> I wonder the same thing all the time. Long term goal, maybe I can just kind of execute and do it. Or maybe even better yet, I can execute and do it. But you can only do this in-game trade for the Munchlax in summer. This guy will not be on vacation for you to meet him unless it is so. Please take care of Munchlax and spend a summer with me. I will work hard to raise your chinchino and get some exercise. Who thanks? Always just saying the same thing. Who thanks? Always just saying the same thing. Fun in summer, beautiful girls playing in the water. Hey, I'm just thinking out loud. Please don't listen to me. You people are horrible. 
do that, maybe it'll be before some important, really hard fight. I guess you could say Hilbert's really torn about it. <laughs> Where am I even going? I don't even know. It's a torrent of water! Yay, cheery music instrumentating me getting a ruin caving in on top of me! You know, for the kids. <laughs> We're gonna go over the wild Pokemon that have been able to be found in the last several areas. I was saving it for this, you see? Setting up for that several videos in advance. It's like a season long story arc or something. Okay, no. I don't give myself that much credit. Let's just meet the wild Pokemon. Seems like I'm saying that I'll battle a lot of move pools today. I guess we're in shallow waters. It's slow with good stats ever. This place really sucks. This place really sucks. This place really sucks. I have been here over an hour, going through the same samey corridors, grabbing what feels like a couple hundred different items, and... Yeah, we're finally about done. Okay. Oh, Zekrom. Show him your glorious pecs. All right. You show him your glorious pecs, but in a different way that won't get you in trouble. I've said a lot of good things about the Abyssal Ruins. I've said a lot of bad things about the Abyssal Ruins. And maybe you're thinking to yourself, is it really worth my time? to go in there for over an hour and grab all those items. Yes, 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 a thousand times yes! The item prices that he, the prices that he will pay for these items is unreal. Granted, when you take into consideration that he's a billionaire and this is yen that we're talking about, eh, I don't know, which I've actually wondered that before. I would think that yen, considering that one yen is equal to one US penny, roughly, I wonder if anyone's ever moved to Japan after they had $10 million just so they could say that they were a billionaire in their country as a status symbol just because it's the easiest country to be a billionaire in once you convert all your money over. Sounds like something I would do if I had that much money. One million Poké Dollars. This is a serious first in being able to exceed 999999 You know what that means. At long last, I can finally buy that bike. <laughs> well... If not that, I'm still glad that this feature arrived early enough that it happened before they started giving us expensive clothing boutiques. Hello, everybody. It is Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Pokemon White version. Last time, I sold my soul. But who cares? We're rich! <laughs> More money than we could ever need with our exploration of Abyssal Ruins. We were compensated for all of our boring, wasted time. But that's okay. We learned lots of valuable lessons, like king is love, king is life. I think that was in there somewhere. Anyway. You know, man, they should, like, make a new item. And have it work kind of like repels. But, you know, it's a key item. And when you turn it on, it stays on. And you never run into any wild Pokemon as long as it's turned on. That's what these games need. That would just make everything, like, perfect, man. This is seriously something that a friend of mine said to me in my teen years. <laughs> I'm not joking. I am barely paraphrasing when I say that. But, you know, it kind of reminds me of the fact that I am trying to find you guys. Can't use Thunder Wave on you, I don't think. So let's try. One, two, three. What is my luck? That was the last legendary Pokemon for us to fight in all of Unova, and I made it look like a joke. Uh, I hadn't yet gone into the fact that this was why I recommended that you get both Tornadus and Thunderous a while back, because it's a little bit bull that they make you have both versions to be able to fight him at. Both versions. Nah, never mind. Next up comes Slowpoke. How fitting that this one came so much later than the other ones. We got a split evolution that can go one of two ways right away, so screw talking about this poor slob. Let's move on to the real things you want to hear about. Slowbro is a- Hey 
everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Welcome back to more Pokemon Black version! Last time, we took on Great Landorus at Abundant Shrine, who wasn't so great after all. He lost to a 14-year-old in a matter of seconds! So, hooray! Disappointing legendary Pokemon! Uh, kind of fitting given what I've said about Landorus' design over the years, but let's not start this off on a negative one! Oh, I want to see the Pokemon you've raised. I feel bad letting him down. I do research into the Pokemon that live in this forest. In theory, you should find Ralts living in this forest. If you see Ralts in this forest, please let me know. That will be proof that Pokemon are living in this forest. Now, how many times did he say forest? I feel like I said that a lot whenever people repeat words a lot. We have new Pokemon to meet. We have a lot of new Pokemon to meet. So, let's get to it. <gasps> Too late to be helpful, 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 too late to be helpful. Can be fully evolved at level 5, which is kind of fun, but I guess you could always breed it to have a level 1 Porygon Z if that's your novelty. Too late to be helpful, too late to be helpful. Well, it certainly would make a handsome paperweight. Too late to be helpful, 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 too late to be helpful. Sucks. Too late to be helpful, 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 too late to be helpful. Is this a bath toy or something like that? That's yet another Pokemon I want made into a bath toy because it looks like it was born to be one. Blair? Blair! Uh you are you willing to participate in an ambitious experiment that will make history? This device is called Poke Transfer. It connects blah 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 to the called to the S system. Meanwhile, the molecules in the evoking ergo energy particles and if the frequency as you see with far away Pokemon, the alpha wave is following which reverse convergence reach convergence blah blah blah. Spectacular results! No 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 it went off side okay, he's he's bunny hopping across oh wait, what's that? Dream smoke uh He's, he's asleep inside of the thing. Oh, I caught him in the bush that time, but not the others. I was starting to think maybe I couldn't, and I was misremembering. Oh. Shake his world! Yeah, <laughs> cling clang, rotation battle. For that, we grew to level 69! Never shall we meet again. Farewell! I bet he fell into a dimensional time portal, ended up in another dimension, and is now manipulating somebody else in that dimension into thinking that he is the boss of Getsus when in reality Getsus is pulling the strings behind the scenes all over again. Just a hunch. The Grizzius Orb! Though the more cynical lessons that nobody wants to teach you, Magikarp Salesman, you were there to parent me when my parents didn't want to. That is the full ring! We have come... Full circle! Back to Route 16, and we are ending our circuit at Nimbasa City. Are we done, however? And I'd recommend it if you want a fun challenge or something unusual that you've never tried before. I think I've made many points for it being worth something after all. <laughs> um, let's have some fun with you. I haven't gotten you sheer cold enough times and you're using an X special on your first turn like the scientist that you are now, okay. We're gonna go first? Yeah! Slightly above average right there, one hit KO. And your other Pokemon is Clang. Now you have two X items, but we'll try it again in Yes! Oh! I know it's pointless, but it feels so good to get that off whenever it actually does work. Oh! My groundbreaking research. It belongs to me now. Quite different. By connecting to that on the date that you have set as your birthday on whichever club account, you would be able to receive a Togekiss. Eat that, white version players. You you didn't have 32 version exclusives over black overall, you only have 31. And the gift box, completing the ensemble of Santa Claus. Salsa the monkey, as you see him now, had a tragic upbringing as a forgettable semi-seer. But not wanting all Simiseer kind to be forgotten about, Salsa took it upon himself to become a star on Broadway, and he did! Rock Slide! It's a good thing that had, otherwise I'd be in serious deep doo doo. <laughs> you know, because Simiseer looks like it has poo on its head. Yeah. After melting them a sludge bomb and also potentially setting off guts on quite a few fighting type Pokemon. 
Not to mention, I'm happy that we've gotten to use explosion. After all, that's proven that Hilbert is disposable! Adding to the hilarity of trash can humor, I just want to remind you that Hilbert can learn recycle. For doing best. Wearing dresses, right? No. Uh, yes, it gets the elemental punches and focus punch. What more could you want? Hip on top is balanced. Because otherwise it would fall over. Der -her -her. <laughs> Thank you. I saw what was missing in me. Ew. Explain about the ones your opponents were dealt. Let us begin, and may the best trainer win. Contests like this are proof that you are really riving. Never mind. <laughs> I got a little bit mixed up there. I guess I skipped the one on the R, and then I had to compensate for it somewhere, and I had Japanese localization on the mind. Grimsley now has not relying on mega horn, so you totally did your part, paved the way so that we could do that. Hex, you also did nice. I shouldn't sell you short. You know what? Let's go ahead and make some frozen yogurt. A little bit. Go back to Blair. Gain that experience. Throw to level 69 off camera so we don't have to raise the age rating for this. There is no strongest Pokemon or single best combination, so there are no guarantees of winning. But the determination to be strong and to continue to grow and improve and create your strength is the determination that makes you you show that makes me respect you. <sighs> when I have to stumble over my own words with how fast I normally talk to get through your text speed, you know that there's a problem and that this game is a little bit too fast at times. So there's a really memorable time that that happened to you in a recording? Well, yes. It's just that our team is overwhelmingly physical attack. And every one of our attackers, I would want to save in some way, shape, or form for a later time in this fight. I wouldn't want to use them right away. Beginning is always important for both battles and novels. So I thought we would just kind of throw Hilbert out, get him in there, get some damage, maybe poison it, and just kind of have these two walls whittle down each other a little bit. Fortunately, I took... <laughs> I got the stench chance from Psych. <laughs> Hilbert, you have quite a dirty mind. <laughs> I didn't think that could happen. I, I guess I always thought it was like contact moves though, but obviously not if Sludge Bomb does it. So that's that's really funny. <laughs> Hilbert has a dirty mind confirmed. Your skin with Flash Cannon, Ice Beam, Air Slash, and Psychic. This might be a little bit of a problem. Let's find out. Yes, it is. Only a little- oh, no! Oh no! What? Terabyte! Playing with my emotions! <laughs> what is it with you? I- I think that you're done. I think that something bad happens. And then every time just- Nah fam, I got this one. <laughs> wow! Metagross is a- And may we actually get the challenge alder this time and not have another castle rise up out of the ground from a giant space flea from nowhere that is just going to be taking over the world who was actually pulling the strings the entire time. I hate it when that happens. So many otherwise would be good games get ruined by it. No? Well, Hex was a good first choice. Coming through for us. Grow to level 69. Going for overheat. If this wins the fight for us, after how long I went without teaching this to you, and this is what decides it in the end. No, no. This isn't what I needed to see. Okay, light screen. Cool, cool. Literally. And challenge the greatest trainer in all of Unova to some not so great results. <laughs> Putting it mildly, I want vindication. I want revenge. I want vengeance. I want a lot of things that all kind of mean the same thing, quite frankly. His ass is bacon! Kyogre, Groudon, you transfer fodder will finally have meaning in your lives. It's not like you created the continents in the ocean or anything like that. After you have... Lady, you're getting a little bit close there. Uh, this wasn't me, I swear. I just, I flew in and she just started smelling me. A anyway, uh, go away. Hey, you that there is something quite interesting and, uh, hi. 
Uh, everyone just loves getting up in my face today and uh, potentially sniffing me. Uh, uh, what are you doing? Uh, what? Uh, hi. Um. Uh, what? Uh, okay, the jig is up. I know what's going on. Hello. Who are you, and what are you doing in my world? You know what? You just can't get rid of me, Chugga Conroy. It's Maryland here, and I'm Gold Soul Silver. Get over here. No! Let me beef you. Uh... I got a beef with you. Let me share my beef. Oh, whoa. You... That was very well timed. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Over this way. Gonna get onto this route. There's a Venusaur on the loose. Where's it running to? You'll never know because you have to go through gate buildings and I can just teleport. <laughs> oh, that's so true. The fence. 240,000 left. I don't know where all my money went. Ooh, I'm actually a Pokemon worker. That's kind of cute. All right, well, don't sell me anything on Route, two, or on route uh, 16. I'm going to Nimbasa. Oh, okay. I'll go to Nimbasa as well. Can't do business on a route like that. After all, it's not a trade route. <laughs> mm. Whoa, who's this person? Hey, stop trying to sell me stuff. Wow. I'm not Fang. Hello. What, forest? $89.80? That's not a reasonable price. Wow, what a ripoff. <laughs> <laughs> this kind of bargain doesn't come around often, you know? This is a special price because we're friends, right? <laughs> How about one full restore for $89.80? How about no? I mean, <laughs> you know, because walking all the way to a Pokemart to purchase one of these is such an inconvenience that you would, you know, this mission makes a lot of sense and that it's saving you a lot of time. Also, we only have six seconds. Hurry. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. Peer pressure. Jeez. Yeah. Jeez. I feel so ripped wow, off right I now. Wow. I just saved so much. Thank you. That's what you're saying. Wait. I said that. Wow. <laughs> wow. I just saved so much. Wow. First, I look. I, I get humiliated in battle. Now I look like I don't know the value of my items. <laughs> this game isn't kind to me, Emil. Why are you doing this? <laughs> this is the ultimate revenge. I mean, I didn't want to do this to myself. Ooh, white <laughs> level went up to level six. Okay, so. Yeah, you were like looking at me and it's like, uh-oh. Should I said something? Oh, shoot. Come here, let me give ah! you a great big hug ah! with my six limbs. No. Latch right onto you, yeah, like a, a giant no. muscular spider. You seem to be busy. You're not too busy for this. You seem to be busy too, mister. Trying to get their attention. Yeah, I want you to play with me. The match was forfeited. Now let's see if we still get the points for that. I think it's just if they say no to the battle. Yeah. <laughs> Woo, that was a good battle. <laughs> it was great. I agree. It was the best battle. <laughs> yeah, I liked it better than that last one. Yeah, I know. Like, it was... <laughs> It wasn't that impressive that I beat you in 40 seconds. This time I beat you in five. That's a lot more impressive. Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh. I love you. you. You put up with me. <laughs> I got to come out and say it. This is a really good soundtrack. Oh, yeah. It sounds really so good. just so intense and like, yeah, we're going on an adventure. We're warping realities. We're entering other dimensions to rip people off. <laughs> And beat them mercilessly in battles. Yeah, okay. Actually, you know what? Let's go about what your typical day is that you keep reliving. Okay, so <laughs> you start in the morning by uh, having easy mode activated for catching Pokemon. All right, pretty good start. I like that. And like then that. it goes to you taking additional experience points from me because I'm a Pokemon and you're a trainer and you're yeah. asserting your dominance. Yeah, that's, that's good. And that's then good. for doing that, you get your karma where I kick your ass with a reptilian bird. And then after I beat you down, uh, you go into a wild Pokemon battle with the same Ponyard. Uh, you, <laughs> you get hurt and I bail you out of trouble. And give me a revive, which is okay. nice. And then you find a timer ball by a fence. Yeah. And then I think you've had too good of a day for everything that you've done, so I rip you off. <sighs> Yeah, what a great day. Like, it started out so good, and then it just kind of falls off a bit. Ugh. And then you have to relive it all again tomorrow where you don't learn from your mistakes. Mm -hmm. What a nightmare. Crossing dimensional barriers all in the name of scamming people. <laughs> I can believe it. Hey, well, at least it's the only dimension you can beat me. Oh, yeah. Oh. Dude, that's why I'm able to win. It's in your dimension. <laughs> That's it. That's because exactly it's always it. the visitor that wins between us. Uh-huh. Yep. All right. Mystery solved. 
there, though. The salesman beckons you. Suck. The salesman beckons no. you. No. He beckons no, you. No. Don't do it. No, I don't want to pay this much. No. Oh. I'm going to go hide behind this guitarist in shame. Joke's on you. I can't even see the guitarist. Oh, well. That ruins my plan. Da -da. I'm not even remotely in tune. <laughs> Please connect to his world faster so I can stop singing badly. Please, I'm just trying to pass the time. I am trying to pass the time. Come on and move faster. Connecting to Devon's world. Please wait a moment. I'm not even remotely still in tune. Not like I ever was in the first place. That was a little bit closer. Yes, it was. You can tell I'm running out of lyrics because I'm saying yes, it was. <laughs> Which is what people say when they don't have real lyrics. I'm running. Finally! <laughs> I think Kirby disapproves of your lyrics. Hurry up, please! <laughs> Find him! Wow. The salesman beckons Guilt you. Guilt trip. The salesman oh, beckons The salesman no. is in you. No, no, The no. salesman is in you. No. Come here. No. You're cornered. I was inside no. you. Wait, a clown? Wait, what? People say the entry forest was so much bigger in the past, and people were able to visit you. Wait, I don't see there. a clown. There's no clown. You're making that up. You're walking through the clown. I'm doing no such thing, the sir. The salesman is in your mind. No. He is in your mind. No. <laughs> Trying to get there. Hello. Uh. <laughs> the forest door? Really? For only wow. 89 80 Wow, sure. Why not? <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a great deal. Not... I like how it is actually your job to rip people off in this side of <laughs> Yeah, what are they teaching kids? Hey, it's totally okay to rip people off. What are they teaching, like, potential predatory traders in, Whoa. like, Pokemon? Well, maybe they're trying to get people an edge on the stock market. Oh, God, I don't know. You know, I, I don't know. No! Not this again! This time it's for real. No! You ain't resetting. No! You oh, ain't I'm resetting! No! Oh, no! Oh, no! Trying to get their attention! No! Oh no. I've got you backed into a corner in a dark alley. Oh, Iris, dream. Actually, this is Mayor. the mayor's house. I know. <laughs> I should really be reporting you. <laughs> oh. Well, that's okay because I'm going to phase into the ether now. <laughs> I'm going to go in and tell the mayor what you're Black done. level one up by two. White level one up by five. Yes. Do you wish to mention where you could be found? Uh, somewhere on the internet. <laughs> no, you can find me on my uh, YouTube channel or Twitch channel or Facebook. I'll just slash Maryland and I do Pokemon stuff and other Nintendo stuff and other stuff in general. Don't be a stranger. All right. Thanks so much for having me, Chugga Conroy, <laughs> and uh, we'll just pretend that that fight didn't count, right? Now I've made things awkward! Hooray! You do that very well. But hello, I am a Sayanella. I, he, 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 he threatened me to, to, to do all of this all of this work on black and white. Wow, I compliment you back, and now you're just like, you're abusive to me. Everyone gang up on him. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It was my pleasure to work on... You had to listen to me stammer on about Pokemon for like 80 hours of video, and you had to draw pictures on harsh deadlines and everything, so... And I had to keep up in my own game. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to work on Majora's Mask. <laughs> well, and I had to... No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Well, I was about to say, and well... well well, you were just working that hard that your head spun around it. Anyway, um, Hi. yeah. She's open up with Superior, level 50. Uh, overgo for its ability, grass type. With Excuse the me, coil. why are you giving me a bio? <laughs> Stop predicting me. <laughs> so it was able to survive one. Retaliate, oh. Are you serious? <laughs> it wasn't type effective. Care if it wasn't type effective, you had less than half, and that has like how much attack? That has so much freaking attack. I'm pissed. You want to do a rematch with the misfits who didn't get to fight, so everyone gets a chance. <laughs> oh, so you mean all the garbage that I left behind? <laughs>
I mean, no, I'm sorry, team. I mean, You're I actually left garbage behind, so. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's really funny. Wait, that's that's actually really funny. Okay, I I thought about this a lot, and I know who I would use. Aqua Jet. Let's see how that does. I'm at least happy you take Rocky Helmet damage from that. Oh! I quit. <laughs> I quit everything. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're not sorry! <laughs> also, I'd like to mention that I'm level 45! That's a whole lot of sorry you got on your face, Emil. A whole lot of sorry. Well, thank you for joining us. Thank you for all the work that you've done in this series. It's almost to a close, so thank you for coming with us. Oh no, thank you so much for, for letting me help you. It's been, it on, honestly has been a pleasure and I'm glad that I had a part in it. It turned out so well and I'm really proud of you, Emil. Thank you. I'm really proud of you and I think everyone else is proud of you too. You put on, you put in a lot of work. Thank you. It, it hasn't been easy every step and there've been a lot of delays just because of how much work some of these videos have been. So. Oh no, I, I'm sure. I'm sure like just looking at everything that you've done, it's just like, whoa. Uh, at, like, as a video editor myself, it's just, like, some of the things that you pull off and some of the things that you work on is just super impressive, and I can't even imagine how much time and effort was put into every single video, and, like, putting it out as cleanly and as as frequently as you did, it's incredible, and you did, you did an, an amazing job. Um, keep doing what you do. Thank you. You keep doing what you do, too. I'm very happy with your work as well. <laughs> I try. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, thank you for joining us. We got, shall we say, a big fight ahead of us. See you guys then. Wait, Leah, for the win. Please. 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 <laughs> stop. No, stop. Okay. <laughs> Top of that battle. This time, we find ourselves back in Nuvema Town where this journey began, and began again, and began yet again. As this is going to be putting the final bow on this journey. We're flying off to Pokemon League. Why, you might ask? Why, because there is a post-post-post game, of course! No, there's really not. We at least got to know its story. Darumaka! I'm not sticking your poop in my pocket. Don't look at me like that. Backtracking! <laughs> a painter in Castelia City wanted to see a rock type. You were the closest answer to it that we could do at the time. And I was very upset that day, hence your name. Curse. Keldeo. Another long gone event we were able to see every side of. Transfer fodder! Transfer fodder! Transfer fodder! Aww. Let us get the Gracidia flower in Lacanosa Town. The Pokedex entries are great. I hate that about this game. Why are they good? They should be terrible. They give me too many nightmares and make me think too much. Ugh, it's terrible. No. Kevin Garchomp. We're gonna chip damage with Aqua Jet, see where that gets us, and then move up from there. Eat it, Garchomp. That's why they call you Garchomp, right? Oh, what? What? Oh! <laughs> Ottawa! Ottawa! Ottawa, what are you? Sheesh! But I also love to travel the sky with a Pokemon when it's using fly. I know, there's nothing that quite beats the feeling of standing on the back of a P-Dub and having it carry you hundreds of miles. I also hope that I've shown you that, hey, just because it has a trash bag Pokemon and it is not indicative of the overall quality. And besides, the trash bag Pokemon's cool, so shut up. <laughs>